Nearly a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. Out of cheesy! To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a Challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, when the Japanese royal family visits Western Japan, they often stay at a certain hotel. Okayama International Hotel, otherwise referred to as the State Guest House of the West. The royal family enjoys their meals in this very room. And the man who is in charge of all the dishes served is quite an interesting person. A veteran French chef. But curiously, he has a set of litmus papers in his kitchen and is always checking the acidity and alkalinity of the food that is served. Today's challenger hails from the guest house of the West, head chef of Okayama International Hotel, Shigeo Yuasa. He left for France when he was 23 years old. His aggressive style of trying to absorb all the skills he's ever encountered earned him the nickname Kamikaze in the kitchen. Counting the next two sets of long stays in France, he received training for a total of four years at top restaurants. And it was when he was in France for the third time that he was exposed to a new philosophy of cooking. At that time, in France, the word cuisine, manseur, was becoming a buzzword. It was the arrival of health consciousness in the world of French cuisine as well, and Yuasa was more than influenced. And after returning to Japan in 1987, recruited to head the kitchen of Okayama International Hotel, he started to adjust the acidity and alkalinity of his dishes, tailored to the health conditions of his guests by teaming up with a physician, thus establishing his original style of cuisine mansour. And his ultimate goal is to complete a protocol of French cuisine that is perfect for Japanese people. We need to design food that matches Japanese people in an ethnic sense. All sorts of health problems will arise if we don't. We may be entering an age where we are not able to say French is the king of cuisine. This man is making a difference, and he proves this with his dishes, suggesting new French recipes that suit Japanese people's physical conditions as well as tastes. His approach and personality are quite well known among the royal family. Prince and Princess Akishino enjoyed their visit to Okayama when the princess was pregnant. Yuasa prepared a special dish, taking into consideration the physical condition of the princess. This was highly appreciated. So now, Yuasa, I look forward to your creations that the royal family speak highly of. I compete against myself. Winning or losing is not important. Well, I'll give it all I have.
Once again, we have a chef with an impressive resume stepping into the stadium, and our guest for today's battle is actress Yasuko Matsuyuki. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> nice to be here. I understand you often go abroad for many of the films in which you appear, so what kind uh, yes. of food uh, do you like best since you've had all kinds? Well, let's see. I guess Japanese food. Ah, still Japanese. Yes. Okay, well, today's challenger has a novel approach to French, so uh, enjoy that today. Uh, yes, thank you. And as always, our commentator, Dr. Yuki Ohatori Doc. Always a pleasure. All right, let's bring him on, Chairman Kaga. So <laughs> ゆいしょあるホテルから挑戦者がやってまいりました。天皇皇后両陛下、そして秋篠宮ご夫妻にも料理をお出ししたことがあるというまさにロイヤルファミリーの料理番。瀬戸内海の新鮮な魚介を自
see this. <laughs> Some fishers, fishmongers, they call it uh, kikuko because it looks like oh, chrysanthemum yeah. flowers. All right. Oh, yeah. I see. And so this would be a male. Right. Mm. And the males are actually more expensive, probably twice that of the females. Incredible. Especially during the wintertime. So yeah. the challenger quickly in and right away getting the soft row. Well, in France, cod is a delicacy. And on the other side, Iron Chef Sakai looks like the same thing here. Uh, you're right. He's and got a he's male. And he's liberating yeah. the row. Yeah, he chose right as well. Right off the bat, soft row versus mm. soft row, both choosing males. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Croissant. Yes. When Challenger US, I heard the theme ingredient was going to be cod. He said, cod? I've never even touched one before. I don't know how to use that. Okay, fine. He was not a happy camper. Back to you. <laughs> well, what do you know? Well, you know, in French cuisine, sauces are the key to everything, right? So right. for fish dishes, uh, sabayon, blue blanc, or hollandaise sauces are common. So I think we'll probably see some of those today. All right, from the men on each side. Right. And I imagine when he's making sauces, mm. Yuasa will use his litmus paper. Test that out. <laughs> yeah, I imagine he will. That's to check the uh, alkalinity. Of the, of the sauces. All right. right, and now the challenger on. Woo, oh, look at this. This is so dynamic. <laughs> Putting some muscle behind that. For what, though? I'm guessing probably for a broth, a, a soup, um, the bones. Or is All he, right. Is he throwing them away? No. Oh. Well, that is wild and sounds more like a rumble in the jungle there. <laughs> Does not fit the image of the genteel world of French cuisine. He has his own style, this man. Yuasa on the attack. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Rather a primitive use of a knife, isn't it? You know, I've never seen that particular kind of knife here in the kitchen, the, that one Yuasa has. No, I, I imagine he that he, he brought along with him. Looks like it'd be just right on a pirate ship. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now back to Sakai. Oh, we've got uh, Omar Lobster. Okay, Omar Lobster, a French variety, boiling away right there. Sakai with lobster in here. Right, the, just the, the claws only, right? And, and these are prawns, perhaps? Uh, no, I think that's actually lobster meat. Okay, and he's dropped that in, too. Yep, boiling those up. Got it. Now on Yuasa's side, and I think he's got a bowl of dough there beside that. Oh, really? Didn't yeah, that. next to this one. Uh, and, and what do you think this is? Um, well, he'd be marinating the fillets with... Okay. Herbs and other things. Well, there's yeah. the dough right there, oh, if I'm not right. mistaken. Yes, it is a dough. Wonder what that's for? Good point. A pie, oh. perhaps? Could be. You know, it uh, might be making a, a pate pantan. In words we can understand, please? <laughs> <laughs> anything with like a meat, fish, or pretty much anything wrapped in pie sheets okay. is called pate pantan. All uh, right. So wrapped up. And the now, dough by itself is different. And here's the Cousin? Iron Chef. Yes. And getting back to the Iron Chef's reaction upon hearing that the ingredient was going to be codfish, by the stunned look on his face, I thought he was a little shocked at first. But later, when I actually asked him, he said, Well, I don't use it that often in my kitchen. But I think I can do lots of interesting things with it. Just leave it to me. He sounds like he's okay with it. All right, so Sakai sounding a bit more confident than Yuasa. And, huh, look at this. Hey. Mm. Hey. 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 Is he, is he losing it already? <laughs> I, have, I have no idea. Making It wouldn't be making natto, would he? I don't know what he's going to be doing with this. My goodness. Ooh, and now boy. the hay on the ground. What is going on here? Oh, mm. boy, I have no idea. What's he doing? The picture's worth a thousand words, huh? Sometimes a thousand. Aren't enough. What is this Interesting. Boy, I wonder? <laughs> Boy, no uh, idea. Yes. Uh, first of all, the dough the challenger had set aside earlier was made from flour, egg whites, water, and salt, and he plans to encase a whole cod in it and bake or grill it somehow. But the way he's going to do yeah. it is a surprise. This hay was being used for decoration, and he's evidently going to burn it as fuel. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's going to be a first. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Wish her good luck on that. Oh, boy, never seen that. Now, back with the Iron Chef, the more sedate Sakai here. I believe this will be for steaming a little bit okay, later. Okay, a more conventional approach there from right. the Iron Chef. And now what is happening with this Ooh. one? Oh, those are the innards. All the right. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, which are, which one exactly? Uh, I, I believe it's the stomach. <laughs> okay. It yeah. is the stomach, yes. All right. Okay. All right. Oh, look at this. Now right here, challenger side. He's Bamboo got the, leaves, Okay, think, yeah. laying them on the dough right there. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. This man does not lack for originality, and mm -hmm. I wonder if this is the first time or if he has tried this before. It doesn't really matter. It's certainly fun to watch. Isn't okay. It? <laughs> and this is the one we saw earlier, the marinated cod right. fillet Runs onto the bamboo the leaves. Yeah, All right. right, continuing oh. with that. That looks good. Cuisine. Yes. I can give you the seasonings for those cod fillets. Garlic, tarragon, olive oil, ginger, scallions, shallots, and let's see what else. No, that's it. Back to you. All right, thanks, Ota. Okay, that's interesting. And that's where the garlic aroma has been coming from. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that too. It's getting pretty, yeah. pretty strong over here. <laughs> Although maybe the Iron Chef too has contributed to the aroma of garlic. Wafting over our way. Left. Fifteen minutes gone now. Challenger Yuasa fashioning a pie here, getting the dough folded over and paper towel in it. Matsuyuki-san, you ever seen anything like this? Oh, no, never. Not at all. Huh. <laughs> he added a sheet of paper. Yeah, like like a paper towel. I guess there would, that would be there to absorb any uh, oh. excess liquid inside. 
right as mm -hmm. it cooks. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you remember, boy, when was that? A while ago, uh, someone made a pie using sea bass. Oh, yeah. Remember yeah. that? Uh, with the uh, Sharon sauce. Right. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of the same as that. Okay, mm. and going to be roasting this one in the oven with the straw there. I imagine mm. so. String it together and into the oven. Hey, now, yeah. all you cookers, <laughs> heat to penetrate inside there. So oh, this whole thing goodness. will be roasted then. Interesting. So, the, you know, the visual pattern, too, is going to be very interesting, the way this is done. Okay, and now, you also look at that. Okay, so he's going to char the surface first, I guess. So this first, and then in the oven. That would be my guess, because I don't think this by itself will cook it. No way. <laughs> I don't think. And but. safe to say, so far, the two chefs in different operating modes. The challenger, he has been the wild and bold one so far. And look at this, he's pouring oil on Oil? <laughs> is he going to set that thing off right here? <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> Unbelievable. Watch out right, over there. Oh, oh. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, Whoa! No, it's, oh, it's a bonfire! No, no, this is a forest fire. <laughs> Watch out over there, people. That one's on fire big oh, time. Oh, gosh. Watch out over there, people. That one's on fire big time. This is amazing. Might have to call 911. Wow. That is some serious flamola. Man alive, it's getting warm in here. It is. But the dish, isn't that one going to get burned? Well, you know, after, after he does this, I still think he's going to have to put it in the oven to follow it up. Oh. Unbelievable. And man, here's the moment those flames just shooting up. Look at Incredible. the size. Incredible. Um, let's see it again. In, oh, almost 10 feet up, I'd say. Oh, That's boy. it. That's the record here, the flammability <laughs> factor. And that fire is still going over there on his side. Oh, wow. Incredible. It is. You are awesome. Kusan? Yes. Yeah, I asked Arnie Shosakai what he thinks about the challenger's dynamic way of doing things, and he just kept going about his business, saying, that doesn't have anything to do with me. I'll just stay on track making my own dishes my own way. <laughs> all right. Well, while we were all fired up by Yuasa's <laughs> wild display there, it's still burning, too. The Iron <laughs> Chef oblivious to all this kitchen stadium barbecuing going on over this way. Yuas has definitely garnered some style points through the first half, but no category in the scoring for those, and Sakai just focusing on doing his thing his way. The Iron Chef French has won his last four battles, the strawberry dessert, turnip, apple, asparagus battles. Yes. In this blender, Iron Chef Sakai has scallops and soft roll. Oh. All right, thanks. Okay. Mm -hmm. And also a processed blend of scallops and soft roe. That would lead one to think. Um, uh, probably a soup or something that's going to be steamed. It can go either way on that one. All right. The Iron Chef trying to win his fifth in a row. And now the fire on the challenger side dying down. The crackling of the burning straw. Don't hear that anymore. <laughs> and we're up close. Looks like some detail work being done by Yuasa. Yeah. I believe these might have come out of the steamer, correct? I think you're right, yeah. And I'm assuming uh, a royale or a soup. Okay, and you know the fire said it was dying. It's not yet dead, <laughs> though. You can still see it burning. Unbelievable. <laughs> I didn't think we'd, he'd be doing it this long. I think that's enough to have cooked it all the way through. You know, that might just be his plan. So this might not end up going over to the oven after I all. I thought so, but maybe not. Okay, but when would you know to stop? <laughs> and still on that side, okay, truffles. Truffles and foie gras both in there. Oh, boy, that's a nice combination. I'm sure he served something like this to members of the Imperial family before. <laughs> He's being very bold throwing in those two things. All right, Challenger Yuasa now back with the Iron Chef. Looks like his scallop soft rope plastic wrap below. Yeah, I imagine this is to dip into boiling water. Boil these then. Right, that would be boiling the whole thing. All right, the stuff that he blended. Right, straight out of the blender. Yes. Yeah, you're exactly right. This is the puree from the blender, the scallops, and the soft roll with the addition of salt and pepper, fresh cream, and eggs. Oh. All right, and uh, after these are cooked, wonder which way he will finish them. Could prepare a sauce or something right. of that order. Okay, and you'll see him here with the uh, the fillet he's adding. Okay, right in there, yes. Or, or is that lobster? Or, okay, or maybe the, uh, the okay. Omar. Yeah, I think it is. You're okay, right. yeah. that he had boiled earlier. Exactly, it boiled once. Hmm, he's doing something. Let's see, oh, Yuasa? <laughs> okay, like a, and adding this here? It's a jelly of some uh, sort. What is Fukusani it? says it's kuzu starch. Oh, okay. Oh, kuzu starch. All right, oh. so he's going that way. Interesting. All right, and yeah. check that out right there. Oh. This uh, French cuisine chef with the Japanese touch. Yeah. Mm. See if he does anything else with that one. And Fukusan? Yes. Yeah, I asked our chef French how he feels doing a French duel for the seventh time, and he replied, yeah, why is that? Why do I always get the duels? Then he said, the challenger did work under me at the Shinosaka Hotel once, so I can't afford to lose this one. Ah, didn't Ooh. know that. Mm. So these guys have a little history together. Sakai and Yuas, uh, Iron Chef, got his game face on today. <laughs> you know, it's getting kind of smoky in here. Have you noticed that? <laughs> <laughs> From the challenger. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, where there's 
fire, there's smoke. <laughs> and uh, you want to say here with some long onions on the sautéed pieces of cod right there? That's a very wise choice because the long onions are in season right now. Uh -huh. And he's making a very good impression here. I'm liking this. Yes, this chef making a very strong impression today. No, oh, oh, that wow. looks good. I wonder what. Oh, I know exactly what this will taste like, though. This is this is really good. I can't get. <laughs> All right, can't wait. <laughs> still on the challenge side, another ingredient used in Japanese cuisine. A miso. Red miso, I think. Oh. Oh, okay, hacho miso. Yeah, if you want to be technical okay. about it. And what will the application be with that? Hmm. Not miso sure. and cod, as a rule, go well together. Oh, very oh. well, yeah. And yeah. getting that mixed up sure. right there. Cod is pretty subtle. So. Oh, look. <laughs> okay, here's Yuasa pH indicator. <laughs> All right, here we go. Litmus paper is out. <laughs> and I think we will soon see him do a pH test. Meantime, Iron Chef's side shifting the contents of this one into the pressure cooker. I think, yeah, he's trying to uh, reduce and the time see, there. And let's see, pieces of daikon it. radish and burdock there. Yeah. Kuzan, yes. Iron Chef Sakai tells me that as if he has time, he is shooting for a total of four dishes today. Mm. All right, thanks, Ota. Sakai gunning for four. Okay, now the challenger, I believe, has added the miso now into this. All sauce. right, yes, oh, check yeah. this out. Yeah. Oh. Boy, you know, he's added Japanese miso to what looked like a French sauce. I've never seen anybody do this. Coming out of left field on this one, uh, <laughs> dispensing with the book today. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, I'm not really sure what... Oh, hang on. Oh, he's doing it. Okay, he's got his litmus paper, a little fumbling with that, tear it off. And at the halfway point, doing his first pH test. Wonder if he can read the results with all the sauce on there. <laughs> well, it's probably easier than just licking the whole thing, I guess. And, and that's it. What did he confirm? Well, it was pretty quick, but uh, he must have got what he wanted to know from that. Fukuzan? Yes. The contents of this bowl are as follows. Hacho miso, olive oil, egg yolks, Japanese sake, sweet cooking sake, and sugar. And the results of the litmus paper test indicated the contents were neutral in acidity, so two thumbs up. All right. Oh, he see. did find out not acidic. And so... Uh, this one will be more of a Japanese flavor. Oh, really? Here. Kind of mm. a fusion, I guess, between Japanese and French. The flavor, yes. Yeah. Mm, but this looks good. <laughs> all right. Now back with Sakai. Some asparagus there and the one in plastic wrap all in the steamer. Yeah, I was oh looking goodness. for that. Omar yeah. Lobster inside. Yeah, some rape leaves as well. Okay, oh, and you leaves. said, Doc, it would go for a soup, as we see Sakai here. Right. And it'll, so it'll almost be like a dumpling. Okay, in or soup, as really. I said, might have a sauce over right. it. That's you very possible. Go sure. either way, and now Yuasa ditching the hat. <laughs> and without it, kind of looks like your everyday Japanese chef. <laughs> it does, yeah. Might look better in a sushi chef's outfit. <laughs> right, right. right. put the little good. headband on there, it'd be great. <laughs> yes. Iron Chef Sakai was told that the challenger was using litmus paper, and his comments were litmus paper for heaven. Sex. Don't show off. Don't try to be cute. Just carry all that information in your head. Well, Ooh. some Ooh, words wow. with some bite <laughs> from Sakai. <laughs> well, it's been a while since we've had a little battle with an edge to it. And Yuasa, having once worked under Sakai and Osaka, didn't know that till after no. he started. Doesn't seem to be an abundance of affection between the two. And now the Iron Chef. Let's see, the soft roe being added oh, here. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's already been cooked, this one. Yeah, oh, that would oh, be great. Wow. Lightly boiled, right? All oh, right. Looks so good. Checking that one out on the Iron Chef's side. And also there, I believe I see some gyoza skins to the side. I think uh, that's for, for wrapping the bowl. Like, spring, it's almost like a big lid. Spring yeah. roll sheets? Right. Is that what they, they are? Wrap up the whole I think thing. So. I, I, mm -hmm. I think that's what okay, he's yes. here. So, yeah, there and you so go. So the idea there just to lay them on and over. Exactly, yeah. All right. And th what, what what's he do that for, though? Well, Basically, what that does, it, it keeps the, the flavors inside while cooking, kind of caps it all. Okay, then how do you suppose he'd be cooking them? Uh, well, it'd have to be in the oven, right? All right. And the challenger <laughs> side, he's got that big load of soft grow in the pot, but hasn't been cooked and taking some of it and chopping it up, just giving it several good whacks. Man's using a number of Japanese techniques. Maybe yeah. uh, you could put some vinegar in that one, too, marinate it, perhaps? Well, you know, if it's fresh enough, you can actually eat it raw. Oh. Just straight then. Yeah. No, all right. Man. If we look at the Iron Chef here, he's yeah. using... Hot bean paste? Right. Oh, okay. Sakai there, oh, Tobanjan, the right yeah. there, going in. Okay. okay. Oh, watch this. And here we go. Wh now, what is that? Is that the Omar Lobster in there? Uh, let's see. Szechuan hot right. bean paste, stealing a page from Iron Chef Chen's playbook, yeah. and it's it's a soup. <laughs> yes. This soup that you're talking about was made from a stewed codfish head, white wine vinegar, salt, and also the hot bean paste that you just mentioned. Oh. All right, okay. codfish head soup. Mm. That'll really create an impact. And in hot too. bean paste being used to accentuate right here by the Iron Chef right. French. Oh, you see, this is being served raw. <gasps> Cod oh. row, straight, no mm. chaser.
Cod row, straight, no chaser. <laughs> mm -hmm, Japanese in style. Yeah, which is really no surprise. The, the right. royal family of Japan being, of course, Japanese, of course. funny enough. Mm -hmm. uh, he has to obviously serve some dishes with the Japanese roots. Oh, so yes. I, I totally understand his approach here. Okay. Now, Just as oh, you what? said. Check this out. What did you say, Doc? You, you said he would uh, uh, be... Spring... What did I say? Spring roll sheets? Yeah, I think mm -hmm. I said spring roll sheets, mm -hmm. didn't I? Okay, and now what's he applying around the outside here of this I, one? I think this is just basically a flour. Okay, a flour mix right there. Right. Normally you use a, a pie dough or something along those lines uh -huh. for... So for brushing this. that around the outside of the bowls. Right, exactly. And I believe I've seen something like this in the past, either here in Kitchen Stadium or someplace else when I've dined out. Excuse <laughs> Yes. John Juwasa told us that besides the soft roll dish that he made earlier, he's also going to use soft roll to make a brulee. Uh, brulee? Huh? A brulee uh -huh. is, Doc? Uh, well, it's a French term for desserts like um, custards or uh, thing, like puddings, hmm. things along those lines. Yeah. Okay. So, and it's always uh, a little charred on the surface as well. It's actually quite good. Yeah, with sugar, right? Right, 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 yeah. And that's actually where the name comes from, is from the charring the brown sugar on the top. Oh, yes, I heard about that. Oh, I'm impressed. <laughs> I just love desserts. <laughs> well, the word brulee means that. Yes, using a torch. Matsuyuki-san, now I'm impressed. You, you, could, you could end up doing this job. I just love sweet things. Oh, okay, and you just like to jump straight into dessert, right? <laughs> well, the chart it doesn't necessarily have to be a torch, though. Okay. All right, now on Sakai's side, going into the oven. 15 minutes left. Yes, so to go. I asked Iron Chef Sakai why he decided to use spring roll sheets for this dish, and he explained that he normally just uses pie dough, but that's too common every day and boring, so he just wanted to try something different today. All right, Sakai <laughs> getting into the spirit today. Maybe spurred on by Yuasa, and there in the steamer. A brulee. Okay, here it is, oh, dessert. There, there you go. And this is on the sweet side, uh, right? Not yet, I don't okay, think. Okay, he'll have to finish that later then. Yeah, he could leave it as is or sprinkle the brown sugar on top and char it like we okay. mentioned before. And this is the one that he poured the kudzu starch over, correct? Yes, ah, right there, uh -huh. scooping them out. Very rich combo, that one. Okay, right, yeah. with the uh, foie gras. Foie gras truffles, I believe, was in there as right. well, was it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is there. Okay, okay. and right now, and getting cod. sauced with that. <laughs> yeah. Now, what, what's going on Truffles, here? right? This? Truffle sauce. Uh, that was would be truffle sauce? my guess, right? Okay. That would be my hope. Yeah. <laughs> yes, look, there it is. And yeah. now, let's get back to the Iron Don't Chef side. Okay, no. Looks like oh. some tempura action here. But it's almost like stick-shaped, isn't it? Hmm, wonder if these could be burdock. Oh, okay. That could very well be, yeah. Yes. You're absolutely right. Burdock tempura. Oh. All right, wow. burdock tempura. Looks like that, that could be another winner from Sakai, the Iron Chef French. Oh, Should what? be good. It looks great. And a rarity, <laughs> too, coming from a French cuisine chef. True, I've never seen that. Yeah. And what the hay over here? <laughs> huh? Well, I don't think he's going to be firing this one. All no, right, I don't using, think so. Using the straw in a different way here, maybe just for decorative. Purposes I think so. this time. The man's quite the designer. And look he? what he's doing here. The charred black, the burnt hay bundled around the dough encrusted marinated cod to rest on a bed of unburned hay. And now here the Iron Chef. Ooh, asparagus holding a light green sauce together there. Yeah, wow. Mm. And look on top of that, dumplings of cod being laid down onto the plates. Nice oh. presentation. <laughs> yeah. Turning another colorful work. Fukuzan. Yes. The sauce the Iron Chef has made for that dish contains broth from a stewed codfish head and boiled potatoes blended in the food processor. All right, thanks. All right, well, Matsuki Sung, you called that one, right? Yes, Here we go. Look at this. Torch. Yeah, it's charring the surface. Well, you know what I want to know? What about his hand? And under the bowl. That must be getting warm at uh, least, right? I was going to say. <laughs> Unbelievable. Boy, this is hot. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right, now the assistant will take care of the, that and complete the rest. This is on Sakai's side. Right, that's the daikon radish. With the burdock right? tempura. Right, the tempura in there. Less than five minutes left in the battle. And he also has the chopped up stomach, I oh. believe, of the cod. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So he has that on top. All right, the section we saw him cutting up earlier. This man is using all available parts, isn't he? Yes, he is. Now they have opened up the oven over there. This one, the bowls of soup, which have oh. spring roll skins over yeah. them. Crispy oh. looking brown they are. Right. You can see one is torn, though. Mm, mm. One of them appears to have been split open. That indicates probably the temperature was maybe a bit too high. Still, you got to hang a star on that for trying it out. Oh, yeah, mm. definitely. Must have been his first go at it. Now look at how this one is filling out <laughs> here. Okay, well, I see. On top of the cod dumpling, more of the sauce, an even richer looking green it's become. And now adding 
some truffles, I believe. It's yeah. very pretty. Wow. Unbelievable. Kuzan. Under two minutes, quick, big fella. Yeah, just a quick update on that dish that was covered with spring roll sheets. Iron Chef Sakai was very pleased with the way it turned out. He said they're perfect. Back to you. All right, good news there, despite the tear in one of them. All right, and he's taking them out without a minute, about one minute. A little go, over right? a minute yeah, to go. Okay. He's pulled out what? Uh, dry ice. Look at this. Dry ice? <laughs> what is going on over there? Maybe going for that rock star smoke effect Unbelievable. or something. Unbelievable. starting <laughs> to break it up. <laughs> wow. Steam there. Under a minute to go. He's got it on overdrive I there. I guess he doesn't want that smoking effect. A yeah. natural steam machine. <laughs> wow, he's like a magician. <laughs> i tell you what, he has passed our litmus test today. Creative, innovative, fire and ice. Yeah, well, I, th I was thinking that fire maybe had some religious connotations, but I guess not. <laughs> well, when that big fire was going earlier, thought about saying a prayer or two in here. <laughs> and now let's see the smoke, but without the fire this time, the straw wrapped dough encased grilled cod cooked over go. an open fire, duration of which turned this place into a flamathon, the most intense flames we've ever seen here. And while all that was going on, the Iron Chef staying as cool as a cucumber was not going to be drawn into any kind of gamesmanship with Yuasa, who for sure has had a highlight filled performance today. And the cod grill dish, the dry ice, the smoke is coming off that one, but keep in mind it is still the taste of the dishes Three, that will determine two, the outcome of this most one. spirited battle. Final seconds countdown and that's it. The cooking's done. The cod battle is over. You only had an hour, but you really got creative, especially with that pie dough dish. That dish? Yes. You know, when you go to the beach, you find straw, right? Uh, really? It's common steaming something by cooking it in a fire using straw. Really? I wanted to make that in a limited amount of time. Oh, okay, I see. And yeah. so all six of your dishes are perfect then? Perfect. How are your dishes today? They're okay today. Okay. I don't use cod so often, but, uh, right. you know, I was able to make dishes that I want to eat myself. Oh, all right. I see. Yeah. Challenger Yuasa is offering six dishes. First, soft roe hors d'oeuvre, taking advantage of the noble sweetness of the soft roe of the cod. Japanese shiso leaves add a pleasing accent to the appetizer. Second, cod and truffles, foie gras and cod, layered and enveloped in kudzu starch. A direct pitch from Yuasa, a French dish designed for the Japanese people. Third, cod and pepper leaf bud salad. This mountain vegetable is cleverly combined with codfish through the use of anchovy, taking advantage of its saltiness. Cod with miso hollandaise sauce. Scallions do the job and the litmus tested neutral miso sauce draws out the subtle flavor of the cod filet. Fifth, grilled cod beach style. Not just impressive visual appeal, but a likely masterpiece in terms of its flavor. And the splendid sauce made from prawn heads only heightens the ethnic aspect of this experience. And last, soft roe dessert. It's not too sweet, but sweet enough to let the combo of soft roe and eggs be enjoyed for dessert. Iron Chef Sakai counters with a set of three dishes. First, cod soup using a spring roll sheet lid. Sakai made the broth from cod heads and added Chinese hot bean paste, giving it a slight kick. Second, soft roe mousse. The heavy soft roe of the cod is gently presented, accompanied by lemon juice and a brilliant green rape blossom sauce. Last, sauteed cod burdock flavor. The soup penetrating to the core of the daikon radish. Cod, burdock, and spicy flavored cod stomach pieces, which match well with all the elements of the dish. When visiting Western Japan, the Imperial family often stays at Okayama International Hotel. The head chef there, who specializes in French cuisine, takes care of all their meals. He's also developing healthy French cuisine for Japanese people. Today's challenger, Shigeo Yuasa. He targets a man with whom he's got some history, Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai. Chairman Kaga unveils the theme. A fish from the Seto Inland Sea, but not used much in French cooking, cod. Challenger Yuasa on fire with his cooking showers us with a set of six. Iron Chef Sakai will try to run the table with his set of three. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today for the cod battle are former lower house member Shinichiro Kurimoto, actress Yasuko Matsuyuki, and Rosanjin scholar Masaaki Hirano. First, the dishes of Challenger Yuasa.
There's a subtle sweetness in the bass and a hint of saltiness in there. This is really such a mild and, well, really a pleasant dish. Thank you very much. This has a deep, uh, yes. natural sweetness yes. to it, and that level of sweetness is just right, I think. The texture of the foie gras and the texture of the kuzu starch together is maybe a bit too heavy for me, uh -huh, I think. The cod and uh, truffles are quite good when you look at them individually, but uh, thinking about this as a whole dish, I kind of, well, question what you've done. This sauce is so good. It is very cleverly used. Thank you. And you are such an entertainer. You've added the scallions for aroma. That tells me you have studied about Japanese cuisine very well. This dish is the very best among all I've tried today. This passes my test. And now Yuasa breaking into his dough-encrusted cod grill. The aroma is, well, somewhat of a North African, if I may say so. Yeah, it's kind of like burnt hay and, well, bamboo leaves. I, while I'm eating this, I feel like I'm well, on a savanna. Yeah, kind of like that. The aroma of the bamboo leaves seem to linger inside my mouth. This is very nice. <laughs> Thanks. This is great. You know, the egg white and the sauce are well harmonized. Good job, I say. This is a soft cod roe dessert. It's delicious, but I can't really tell if it's cod or not. <laughs> I don't see the cod. It's just kind of a sweet dessert using eggs. That's, that's all I see here. If you use less sugar, this could have been a perfect dish. You started by letting the ingredient speak for itself, so you should have done that at the end. If so, I could have given you a perfect score. And now up the dishes of Iron Chef Sakai. You tried hard not to damage the flavor of the soft roe, which is why I think you used the mushrooms. Your approach is so sophisticated. Sophisticated um, is an ultimate form of simplicity, and you have succeeded to do that in this one. Very nice. When I was watching this from above, it didn't really strike me as something to be so refined, but the flavor is so refined, it's a Chinese-style French soup. I thought it would taste a lot richer, but it was actually light. Mm, I like it. This was really just a bit more subtle than I thought it would be. I wish there was more body to this dish. The sauce, yes, it well, it represents spring, but I really wanted a bit more depth to this. It's a bit weak. You knew what you were doing in suppressing artificial seasoning as much as possible. I prefer flavors like this. This is such a creative dish, and it's, well, it's really good. But the stomach part, well, you know, if I was forced to say so, well, it's good, but if I had a choice, I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is a tough one here. Frankly, I liked the stomach part. The balance among all kinds of textures and flavors, of course, was so interesting. And how do you say? It was well balanced, I think. Mm hmm the final litmus test for today, neutrality, not an option.
タラというあまり身近でない素材をもとに苦しみながら独自の世界を作り上げた挑戦者そして鉄人それぞれ限界ギリギリの勝負に出ていたと思いますこの結果ばかりはリトマス試験紙でも測れませんそれでは発表します Battling within French cuisine with a seldom used ingredient, and now a terrifying moment. Both men wondering, was their best good enough? Challenger Yuasa, Fire and Ice, Iron Chef Sakai, roll the dice. Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? Tetsujin Sakai h i r o y u It is the Iron Chef Sakai. Another close shave, but getting by. Conquering Cod. All right, Yuasa, he doesn't win this one, but his dish is his performance making an impact today. A revolutionary, health conscious French food, but unable to overthrow this man, his fifth win in a row, Iron Chef French hitter Yuki Sakai.